Hi, G Matoga here with my first video in a long time for Hobby Fanatic. So I'm making this video in response to a Reddit thread. And in this thread, a Tesla owner reported that their car had shut down with three miles remaining on the mileage indicator. And what ensued in typical Reddit fashion was this poor guy being lambasted for being stupid and driving his car down that low in the first place. But the other common thread was people saying, you shouldn't be using mileage indicator on your range anyway, you should be using percentage. And if you had for 20 miles, it would have shown 0% and this wouldn't have happened. Well, I'm a Tesla owner, I've owned two. And in the past I've owned a Chevy Bolt and I've always run my car in the mileage indicated mode. And I have run my Tesla down to zero miles before twice, once intentionally just as a capacity test, and the other time unintentionally, but everything turned out just fine. So I was a little skeptical of this claim. In my opinion, his problem was probably a calibration, battery calibration problem, not anything that this guy was doing wrong. So if my cars say they have some miles, I do trust them, but I wanna find out maybe I shouldn't. Being a Tesla owner, I can do what any reasonable Reddit user would do and go test this. No, that's not what most Reddit users would do, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm sitting in my Tesla now and I've run it down to 10%. 27 miles, 10%. Now this is a 2018 long range model three, 80,000 miles. And my full capacity is right around 275 right now, 100% charge. So I'm gonna keep going, I'm near a supercharger. Hopefully this won't turn out badly. We're gonna go all the way to 0% and see what happens. Okay, at 22%, I did get a notification down here saying um, high energy usage, navigate to a local charger. And at 20 miles, I got this notification, plan your next charge. You are almost too far from known charging locations. Now, the other reason I wanted to stop here was that's what one of the Reddit commenters had said. You would have been driving for 20 miles on 0% if you had had your car in percentage mode. I'm currently at 7% and my car is saying I have 20 miles of range. All right, so I'll keep going and we'll see what happens. So I'm down to 10 miles now. Uh, 4% and also when I was at 20 miles I reset my trip meter so I've driven four miles since then you can ignore my ignore my watt hours per mile I've been driving like a maniac with AC blasting just to burn down this battery okay so after driving a little more than another mile um, I'm down to 2% and look at that I still show six miles of range now I am giving it getting a little nervous I'm gonna be pushing this thing to the supercharger which is Right over there, by the way. But uh, I'm just gonna keep driving around until I get to zero miles, four miles, and still showing 1%. So I'm real curious, when it says three miles, is it gonna say 0% or 1%? I'm gonna bet 1%, but we're gonna find out. Here it is, I just hit three miles. Look at that, 1%. Suck it, Reddit. Is this gonna keep saying 1% all the way down to zero miles? We'll find out. Two miles, 1%. One mile, 0%. But it, it switched to one mile and 0% at the same time. So I am going to go directly to the charger and oh, I don't overshoot this. I'm driving on zero miles now, by the way. So I made it and I'm still going, uh, but it switched over to zero miles only within a couple hundred yards of the supercharger. So I think I'm... I am not at all nervous about making it into a spot here. All right, so we've just wrapped up this adventure and, and obviously on my car, it wasn't until I got down to, well, to one mile that it showed 0%. So different experience than the original poster on Reddit. Now, it's really important here to note though, Tesla obviously used different battery chemistries over time. It's possible that the poster on Reddit had um, an LFP, a lithium iron phosphate battery, which is common in the standard range Teslas. I have an older nickel cadmium, I don't know the exact acronym for it, and that has a more predictable discharge curve. 
So if you have an LFP battery, I believe the recommendation from Tesla is to charge that battery up to 100% either every time or at least frequently because that serves as the reference point for that battery chemistry. Whereas on the nickel batteries, it's, it's, it's more predictable. But at least in my car, the driving for 20 miles on 0%, no, that's not how it works. Thank you.